So start by loosening off the through bolts on the back of the motor. And then we'll remove the screws from the wet end cover plate. Now we're going to use a flat bar to pry off the front cover plate off of the wet end so we can get access to the impeller. We grab a pair of channel locks and we can turn the impeller counterclockwise to screw it off of the motor shaft. And this will release the wet end from the, the uh, pump motor and then we can just set that aside. Now we're going to make a couple reference marks on the motor housing just so that when we put it back together we can align the cover plates in the correct location and orientation. Now we can pull out the through bolts completely. And then once the through bolts are all pulled out Look at the motor and find a place where you can uh, get in a screwdriver to tap off the back plate, the back cover plate. And just work your way around the motor housing until you've loosened it off and it'll just pop off. And this will just free up the back uh, the back bearing from the, um, the motor shaft and then we can pull off the front end and then we can just set aside the stator for a second and then we'll just get rid of the motor housing and set it aside for now. On the front of your uh, front cover plate there should be a, a, a lock screw that you can undo and it has a tab on the back that holds the cover plate to the bearing. And then we can set that aside. It works best now if you grab a vise, put something protective in the vise so that you can clamp the stator and protect it. Now that everything's solid, you can tap off the front cover plate off of the bearing. Just takes a little bit of time, but it'll pop right off. And then using a bearing puller, we'll pull off the front bearing. And it just pops right off. We'll grab a new bearing, we'll put it back on. And here we're just using a, a deep socket that is the same diameter as the inside of the bearing. And then we'll just pound the bearing until it's seated.
And we'll repeat the process on the back end. We'll pull off the rear bearing. And we'll grab a new bearing and again using a, a socket, pound it on until it's seated. And we'll grab a little bit of grease and grease the exterior of both of the bearings. Now we'll put the locking bolt back in place on the front cover. And we're just going to tighten it up with the back um, tab in a position where it will not engage the bearing. And then we'll tap the front cover plate onto the bearing. And we can loosen off the locking screw, which will allow us to position the back tab to engage the bearing and hold the front cover to the bearing. Now we can grab the motor housing. Now we're going to put the stator back inside the motor housing. And then we're going to make sure that all of our reference marks line up. And then we're going to tap both the front plate and the back plate, the back cover plate into position. Since we lined everything up with our reference marks, the through bolts should slide in nice and easy. So the new wet end that we bought has a hex key cast into the impeller. So uh, we can use a hex key to thread the impeller onto the shaft of the motor. And we'll just grab a pair of channel locks to hold the shaft while we, while we fasten the impeller onto the shaft. If your housing doesn't have a hex socket cast into it, you can just remove the cover plate like we did when we took it off and hold on to the impeller and thread it on manually. Once it's nice and snug, we'll just make sure it's lined up with the through bolts and then we can tighten up the through bolts, which will secure the 
the wet end to your, your pump housing. And once everything's tightened up, your, your new wet end and uh, motor is all ready to go and you can install it back into your hot tub. And then here's just a quick sample of the motor with the new wet end and the bearing. Sounds perfect and we're good to go.